Hi, that's Matt from Pixas.com, and today we're going to analyze Visitor Analytics, a software which will let you analyze your website's visitors and users. So what exactly is Visitor Analytics? Visitor Analytics is an analytical software which was launched in 2016 and has been developing ever since. It was created to make life easier for people who don't feel confident with tools such as Google Analytics and find them too complicated. It's an easy-to-use alternative, best for non-technical people. In fact, it doesn't matter if you're an IT expert, beginner or a non-technical person, Visitor Analytics can be helpful to basically anyone. So how exactly does Visitor Analytics work and what does it offer? What makes it so effortless in use? Let's find out! Registering to Visitor Analytics is really easy. You type your email, password, name and name your business or organization. You confirm the registration and voila, you're ready to go. Then you need to add your website's URL, otherwise you won't be able to get any data on your website's performance. Even if you're still afraid that you will get lost in all the information about your website, Visitor Analytics ensures you will not by sending you email tricks on how to read and understand your analytical tool. The next step you're encouraged to do is to set your preferences in your account settings, where you can manage and update your account information like name, passwords, websites you want to add, and billing information. Also, Visitor Analytics is available in 12 languages including English, Spanish, Russian, French, German, and a few others. That's a helpful addition for people who are not only non-tech savvy, but also are not good with English, which is actually the primary language for most of the tools available on the market. Additionally, for the 30 days you can get access to all the Visitor Analytics features for free. And if you're not sure which plan is the best for you, it's a good idea to keep using the trial version. You can always upgrade and change plans based on your website performance and features you actually need. It's also essential that you add your tracking code to your website, meaning you have to install Visitor Analytics on your website. You won't be able to analyze website performance without it. You can do it on such platforms as Wix, WordPress, Weebly Blogger, GoDaddy, Shopify and a few other website creators. But that's quick and easy step and you can find out how to do it in the Help Center where you can also find other helpful information and gui guidelines. These are the very basics. Now that you have your account set up, you can start analyzing your website's performance. The dashboard which gives you a brief insight into analytics. The main view of Visitor Analytics is the dashboard with an overview of all the data. You can see all the website statistics in one place. Everything is transparent and easily accessible. Here what you can see in the overview are information such as visitors, unique visitors, page visits, bounce rate, conversions, live visitors, including the map showing their geographical location, top starting pages, latest visitors, and a few more information. It literally has everything you need when it comes to statistics and analyzing your website's performance. Additionally, every section has an explanation of what it is for and what data it presents. You can find it under the little information symbol in the right top corner, which can quickly and easily help you understand what each section is for. I find it extremely convenient as it helped me understand what I'm actually looking for. You can choose the date for which you wanted the tool to display statistics, ranging from today, last 7 days, last 4 weeks or customize it. The very cool and helpful thing are colors. They make it easier to analyze the stats as they show the drop with red color or rise with green color in visitors, unique visitors, page visits, bounce rate and conversions. Since these are the main and usually the most crucial information, you can quickly and easily visualize it. This is the main trigger for which helps you assess whether you need to take action and work on your website or leave it as it is. You can get more details for all the 14 sections by clicking See More button located at the bottom of each. That shows you more details in a new window. If you want to uncover even more secrets about your website's performance, you can go to the panel which you can see on the left. 
There are seven sections Overview, Visitors, Pages, Devices, Campaigns, Settings, Support. Let's check the rest of them and see what they can do and how they can help you optimize your website's performance. Visitors to get to know who and how visits your website. Here you can see everything about your visitors and find out who's visiting your website, when and from where. Latest visitors shows the number of people that visited your website within the date range. Here's what data Visitor Analytics provides with. Visitor location, IP, status, device, operating system, browser, visited pages and time. Visitor Analytics keeps for you all the history of all visitors so if you have a returning visitor, you can check their history to have even more information about them. And that includes their location, size they visited on your website, devices, etc. You can also export your visitors data or visits history within the given time range as CSV or XLS file. Then there is a map for you to see the approximate location of visitors within 2 kilometers of reach. It isn't an exact distance, so you won't be able to identify anyone, but still it might be a useful information for your anal analysis. Traffic charts in the visitors section allow you to check all your visitors and page loads per month, weekdays or even hours. With this feature you know when exactly people come to your website, what are the most common hours and days for them to spend time on the site. This data is presented in the form of simple and clear graphs. Location is another section where you can see transparent graphs depicting data on visitors' locations, country and city. Pages to discover the popularity of each site. Visitor Analytics records every visit on pages, and that's what you can see in this section. It has four subdivisions – page visits, landing pages, conversions and referring sites. All that data is transparent and you don't need any special skills to understand it. It's enough that you just take a look at it to draw valid conclusions. It's especially useful if you partner with other people, for example influencers or professional organizations, since you can see how much traffic they bring to your website. Thanks to that section you can understand which pages are visited from each referral. Devices to optimize your website. Here you can see the number of visitors based on their operating system, browser or display resolution. The display resolution statistics can be particularly helpful for website designers, as it's easier for them to understand users and create a user-friendly website with better responsiveness. Campaigns to understand and improve traffic. If you're running URL campaigns, this section should be of interest to you. You have to know whether your campaigns are successful and bring you traffic or go unnoticed. Visitor Analytics can help you improve campaigns based on the data to build better campaigns in the future. The overview in this section already consists of valuable information such as campaigns visitors, sources, medium, top campaigns terms, top performing campaigns and a few more information. In Campaign Visitors, you can access all the data about visitors coming to your website from campaigns in the form of a table. And the table also has some interesting information. Visitor location, source, status, medium, name, term, visited pages and time. So let's say you're sending a weekly newsletter with multiple links. Campaigns help you determine which of the links lead your visitors to a particular page on your website. And so, for every campaign with UTM, you get all the information you need. The analytics software gathers the data and gives you the power to understand the traffic. My campaign section gives you the view of all your campaigns in one place. And for those who like charts, there are campaigns charts showing various kinds of traffic on different days and different hours. So this section allows you to understand visitors' behavior. If they're regular visitors, you can analyze their history for even more information. Even though visitor analytics may be for non-tech people, with all that information you might feel like a tech expert. Moreover, if you need to learn how to build a successful URL campaign, visitor analytics gives you a comprehensive tutorial. Settings for personalization and data protection. If you're worried about the data protection, you shouldn't be. 
Although such tools as visitor analytics gather valuable information, there is no chance that by using the app you will infringe any laws concerning data protection. Since the introduction of GDPR, data has become a sensitive subject and to be able to legally operate your business, you have to obey the legal rules. That includes using tools which track visitors' activity on your website. In settings, you can access data protection settings, which allows you to easily view and sign the data processing agreement without leaving your home or office. That's a painless and quick way to take care of your data privacy and security. And there's more what you can do in this section. Anonymize visitors' IP so they're not stored, ignore visits from a specific browser or specific IP, and a few more information related to data security and privacy. If you find it problematic or challenging to use visitor analytics, you can always contact them or use their help center. It's also a great idea to request a demo if you have no idea about analyzing this type of data. When I took the tour on visitor analytics, I was accompanied by a fantastic Corina who showed me the software step by step. So now that's the question. Visitor analytics or Google analytics? Both tools are undeniably powerful. While Google Analytics provides meticulous data with all its graphs and numbers, I don't think Visitor Analytics is any worse. If you want to get a general oversight on your website's performance, you should definitely choose Visitor Analytics. But if you need extra detailed data divided into as many categories as possible, I would go for Google Analytics. I think that Visitor Analytics is a really great software. And no matter how hard I keep looking for drawbacks, I can't find any specifics. I personally find the tool intuitive, effective and really helpful. Not only does it help to understand visitors' behavior, but also optimize a website, personalize products and learn what to do to permeate the internet so that more people can find you. Still, this software might not be the best for large companies with a very complex websites, so I think it's better suited for small businesses, startups and freelancers. But there's more to come and if Visitor Analytics keeps evolving, it might even become better than Google Analytics someday. Looking forward to seeing it develop and checking out the tool again in the future. Thank you for watching and if you found the review useful, we'd appreciate your thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with new software reviews and news at pixas.com.